Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. MCS stream is live right now. Hopefully you guys are watching because if you're not, you're probably too late to go ahead and get your free Tariq Woolen. You have to watch for two hours. But we have harvest reveals to go over. Keep in mind this stuff doesn't drop until Thursday. Season three is tomorrow. Those reveals are in the morning. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Dylan for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are sub to the channel. To Kish Blonde, comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, tonight we have a bunch of NBA. If you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to double your first deposit up to $100 and follow me over on Twitter for my picks. We have been hot the last couple of days. If you guys sign up right now, you get this Joe Burrow 0.5 total yard special for Thursday night football. By the way, if you guys are in Alabama, Mississippi, a couple of other states as well, make sure you guys check out Underdog because there's a new Pick'em Champions mode, which is actually available to you guys so you can now do Pick'ems. Check it out. Follow me over on Twitter. Also, guys, I do want to talk about this because EA did tweet out about solo battles. As you guys know, I've made multiple tweets i've talked about it in multiple videos as well about the solo battles issues that you know people have been kind of dealing with here and a lot of you guys right now still have not been able to play solo battles as you guys can see ea finally said something about it and they said the team has identified a fix for solo battles targeted for this week's season three competitive pass reset on friday since effective players were unable to make progress by completing solo battles the team is preparing the following make good they said starting on november 3rd which obviously uh is already passed so that is not correct, but players that did not receive all their solo battle games will receive 150 CP per week. They have been impacted. So if you guys, I guess they meant maybe like starting on November 3rd, people that had the issue starting on the 3rd will receive 150 uh, CP per week. That will go towards the next field pass, I do believe, with the Season Pass 3 competitive field pass, which is going to reset on Friday. They will provide an update in the thread below when the make good is processed. They have not mentioned anything yet as to when this is going to be processed could be in the next couple of days uh the competitive field pass doesn't reset until friday so maybe this is actually going to be for the field pass too i'm not really too sure either which way there is going to be a make good either you guys are going to get 150 cp per week that you guys can play solo battles on the current competitive field pass or it's going to be for the season three competitive field pass i don't know which we will uh find out but either which way they finally said something now we also have the team of the week reveals to go over and i know you guys always say that i am oh so biased whenever i have cowboys players in my team of the week predictions well how about that team of the week Dak prescott the team of the week champion reveal for tonight now is this card the best quarterback in the game no is it good he's got 87 speed 90 throw power uh good accuracy he's good you know throw under pressure the card's solid now his release though is generic 2 uh generic 2 release is not very great with gunslinger though very comparable to pretty much every other quarterback in the game uh won't get said feet lead you need 94 throw power on an improviser to get that so won't get that and then hot route master i don't know we have to know what his awareness is we will not know until tomorrow morning on the ea stream when they do all the reveals for like season three uh and all the team of the week reveals which is when they're gonna be doing that tomorrow team of the week and season three these both drop tomorrow harvest drops on thursday like i already said uh but team league deck prescott you know is a qb1 no uh to be honest even on cowboys theme teams i would still probably say troy eggman is better just because i think sefi lead is just that good but that's something Dak prescott right there very excited for that and then the uh team of the week week 10 as you guys see some blurred out images does look like we have a 49er and i did predict that we would get nick bosa for the defensive side of the ball for that champion so could possibly be nick bosa let me know down below who you guys see very excited for Dak though so let's go over the harvest reveals again guys this stuff does not come out tomorrow it comes out on thursday tomorrow morning on the ea stream we're gonna get the team of the week reveals uh we're going to get everything season three all of those reveals and then all that stuff is gonna drop in the afternoon so getting into harvest we have the 82 overall leech you guys pause it if you want to take a look at those uh we also have the 85 overall leech you know hunter renfro in there mccall hardman uh and then getting into the 89s now something to note guys is all of these cards they all have a team chem so they have like their normal team chem like Lattimore here as the saints but they also all get the harvest chem as well so you can still have like the normal chem for your normal you know if you have a theme team whatever 
and still work on getting some of the harvest team cams so really cool stuff there if you get the champions of the ltds though they have double so Lattimore, 89 speed, 90 XL, 87 man, 86 zone, 90 press, uh, 89 Michael Pierce, 90 block shed, 91 strength. We also have Rob Havenstein, 90 pass block, 90 run block, 90 strength on him. Uh, we have 89 overall Eddie Jackson, 90 speed, 80 XL, 85 man, 91 zone, only 81 hit power though. CJ Mosley, 86 speed, not very good block shed or zone on him. Brandon Sheriff. Uh, very bad pass block, 82. 89 run block, though, 90 strength. Uh, we also have Justin Reed, 90 speed, 90 excel, 86 man, 89 zone. Wyatt Teller with 88 pass block, 88 run block, 91 strength. Uh, 89 Eric Kendricks with 88 speed, 88 excel, 86 zone. By the way, Harvest, I would imagine, is going to be only two parts this year because, you know, obviously... Uh, Thanksgiving is going to be next weekend. We also have James Conner, 87 speed, 88 excel, 87 truck, 86 break tackle. Uh, Robert Hainsey with 88 pass block, 85 run block, 88 strength. We have Teron Johnson, 89 speed, 90 excel, 89 zone coverage on him. And then we get into the game day players. Now, the game day players, there are going to be some sets for them. I don't recall exactly what you need, but we'll see that uh, when the promo does drop on Thursday. Essentially, all of these players here, they have conditions to meet so if you go ahead and you meet the conditions they get a plus in overall the sets i do believe will go away the day before the games actually start here on thanksgiving so you have to do the sets before then i will make a video going over the best ones to do uh, as you guys know obviously i look at a lot of uh data with all the picks that i make on underdog which we're gonna talk about that because there is one that is extremely terrible the uh commander's they need to change the conditions. They're absolutely terrible. But Julian Love right here, uh, to force a turnover. If Seattle forced a turnover, then he goes up one overall. If he gets two plus tackles, he goes up one overall. If he gets both of those, he goes up to a 91. 89 speed, 90 XL, 87 zone, and that's it, 89. Again, you know, he could go up to a 91 overall. Next up, Jake Ferguson for my Cowboys. This one's actually pretty good. Three sacks to get Cowboys get at least three sacks, and then Ferguson to get four plus catches. I like both of those a lot. 86 speed, 80 catch in traffic. Uh, is the card really, really good? Uh, no, not gonna lie. The catch traffic is definitely pretty low there. This one, though, is absolutely terrible. And I know this right off the top of my head, as I said, I make a lot of picks, right? Benjamin St. Juiced. Um, yeah. Holding the Cowboys to under 200 passing yards, that's actually really, really, really bad. And I'm not just saying that as a Cowboys fan. Washington has the fourth worst pass defense in the NFL. I'm not sure if they've held any quarterback under 200 yards this year. And uh, Dak Prescott is 100,000% like going for 200 plus yards. And I'm not saying that as a Cowboys fan, they should legitimately change this to 300 yards if they actually want it to be something that can be done because Dak is most certainly going to pass for over 200 yards. Uh, 90 speed, 90 XL, 88 zone on him though. Two plus tackles is definitely a possibility, but they're not going to hold Dallas under 200 yards. That's that's really bad. That actually should be changed. Next up, Amon Ross St. Brown, Detroit two plus passing touchdowns and Amon Ross to get 80 plus receiving yards, 89 speed, 84 catch in traffic. Uh, decent route running on him there and then 89 overall Jordan Love if Green Bay scores 20 plus and Jordan Love has two plus touchdowns those are his conditions 84 speed 88 throw power solid stats uh, overall nothing like too crazy next up though we have the 91 overalls now you guys can use the collectibles that you will get uh, from the field pass I think solos and house rules i believe were the three ways to go and get these collectibles that you have uh to get these base players up to 91 i think you get them in like the welcome pack i want to say didn't catch every single detail they were going pretty quickly through all this so again stuff drops on thursday we'll recap it all when it actually drops but what i do know is that you were to get three of these select players up to 91 overalls for free Arden Key, though, 86 speed, 89 XL, uh, 83 block shed, 91 finesse move. These are the fully upgraded 91 overalls, so we see what the stats are looking like. Javon Holland, 90 speed, 91 XL, 89 man, 91 zone, 86 hit power. We have Terry McLaurin, 91 speed, 90 catch in traffic, 87, 87, 87 for the routes right there. Uh, Josh Sweat, 88 speed, 91 XL, 89 finesse move. I am uh, curious as to why they decided to not go with his Super Bowl card art from last year. 
if you know you know uh trent brown 92 strength 91 pass block 89 run block on him we also have kyle use check with 87 speed 89 awareness 75 run blocking 92 lead block and those are all the 91s as i said you'll be able to get three of those up to a 91 now we know the champs and the ltds Edger and James, 92 speed, 91 excel, 88 change of direction, 89 break tackle, 92 agility. The speed is good. The change of direction is solid. Break tackle and trucking, though, you know, I feel like they could have done maybe Edger and James a little bit better, to be honest. Definitely could have done him a little bit better. Next up, though, is Joey Porter. You guys noticed three chems. We'll talk about that. 84 speed, 85 excel, 91 strength, 90 block shed, 92 power move. Uh, speed's a little low. You guys will notice the D chemistry on this card. That is the dad and kid chemistry, I believe they said. Dad, kid is the chem. They did not say what it does but they pretty much just leaked here that we're going to be getting a Joey Porter Jr. Uh, with the part two of the Harvest promo, which I'm actually very excited for. I loved the Joey Porter Jr. from, the, I believe it was Campus Heroes promo earlier this year. That card was so good for me. So very excited for that. We do not know what that chem actually does yet. They did not say on the stream. Don't know if it'll actually even showcase uh, when it does drop on Thursday or not, but we will find out. Uh, and then the champions. We have Dexter Lawrence, 76 speed at Excel, 93 strength, 93 four blocks and 92 power move by the way they did not show the sets for these champs so i don't know if it's just you know any uh, whatever overalls to go ahead and get the sets done or if you need harvest players probably is just any overalls uh but dexter lawrence yes he will get inside stuff there with that 94 block shed amari cooper we already knew that he was coming and also certain spoiler yes certain is coming 91 speed 88 catching traffic solid route running right there uh patrick certain 92 speed 90 excel 93 man 89 zone i love certain cards always play good and this one is probably the best in my opinion of all of the cards that dropped Patrick Mahomes, 80 speed, 94 throw power, 92 short, 89 medium, 90 deep. Now, of course, as you guys know, if you throw Gunslinger on any quarterback this year, they essentially all have the same release. But Mahomes, in his tier four, you get to choose if you want Hot Route Master or set feet lead so this is an 80 speed quarterback that's gonna get set feet lead uh i believe he has slinger five release is it i don't recall exactly what it is i don't think i used mahomes earlier this year so i'm not exactly sure how good his release is uh but patrick mahomes here you know he's gonna be really really good getting set feet lead having the 80 speed good accuracies overall gonna be very very good now as you guys see as well we do have some other stuff here actually there it is these sets i completely forgot about this 92 overall harvest champions uh any 89 overalls 589 the 89 overall harvest there you go 85 and 82 and then we also have the field pass as you guys can see you get the turducken leg which i believe the turducken legs are used to upgrade those players up to 91s when i was talking about season xp 88 overall bnd hungry harvest fantasy pack uh 89 overall harvest hero fantasy pack as well right there uh, at level 18 and then another 89 overall bnd harvest hero at level 12 and then we also do have predictors now they didn't show everything so we'll see about that when it drops in the game on thursday harvest predictor tokens you can use that uh to predict you know certain things here like the 49ers holding seattle to less than two touchdowns that one right there will give you 11,500 coins if they do that this one here is actually really cool scorigami so it ends in a score that has never occurred in nfl history you get a hundred thousand coins and guys that is everything uh with the harvest promo there also is this the house rules player award 89 overall jerry tillery those are the rules for the house rules and then tomorrow morning as i said season three revealed tomorrow at 10 30 a.m so that being said guys that's the entire harvest promo reveal uh drops thursday tomorrow morning we are gonna get the season three reveal team of the week and then all that stuff's gonna drop in the afternoon so really really big week let me know down below what you guys think about this though definitely a whole lot check out underdog fantasy use code zerk see you guys next time if you guys enjoyed this video check out these